Now keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. Well, if you were looking to uh, lose weight by exercising outside, <laughs> hopefully you got it done over the weekend. Yeah. Not such a great day today. Yeah, it's not so great. We're still tracking uh, some leftover showers, which is good news yes, because, you know, we desperately need the rainfall. Here's the really wide view on Viper 2 HD. Look how many folks are picking up rain right now. General motion of all this rain moving to the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. I don't have any severe weather on the radar scope right now. You need to know that could be changing, though, as we head into this evening and even tomorrow morning. Here's Viper 2 HD. We do have a few scattered showers. You have to look pretty closely uh, south of Tulsa, along I-40, but you had your heavier rainfall early this morning, so a few leftover showers around you, Fall and Muskogee. Here's the Tulsa area around Skytook, extending uh, up towards Oolaga, picking up pretty good rainfall right now. These showers will continue to move to the north and east. Bartlesville, you've been getting wet now for the past couple of hours, and the rain continues for our friends in southeastern Kansas around Coffeeville and independence. So continuing to watch that rain as uh, we head into this afternoon, the bulk of this activity should be lifting up to the north, but we'll be watching for additional showers and thunderstorms to be forming down to our south and west, and those are the ones that could be strong to severe. Certainly a wet morning drive so far. Thanks to Jamie for snapping this wet picture just south of Muskogee early this morning. Muskogee picking up under an inch of rain, but hey, 0.8, that's pretty good. Notice Okmulgee the past 24 hours coming in with just under two inches over an inch in Claremore, Tahlequah, Tulsa. About a third of an inch of rain so far in Bartlesville. But remember, we're not done yet. We still have several more waves of rain to roll through. So by the time it's said and done, some of us could see as much as four inches of rain. That risk of severe weather today, it's mainly out to the west, but notice it does move into northeastern Oklahoma. So there will be the slight risk of severe weather. For us, we're mainly looking at hail. Large hail and wind could be a primary threat as we head into tonight. And this risk area slides across us. So again, still monitoring that potential for severe weather, especially for tonight. In Bartlesville right now, just looking at damp conditions and that cloudy sky. It's 64 right now in Tulsa with a southeast wind at 15 miles per hour. Pressure's rising. Our dew point's at 61. Southeast winds have been pulling up that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. We're at 64 in Bristow. It's 61 in Pryor, 59 in Tahlequah. Even a few 70s coming in from Oklahoma City to Norman. We'll continue with south winds at about 10 to 20 as we head into this afternoon. And again, the bulk of the rainfall right now across the state, I would say in the northern third of the state. And notice what happens on Futurecast. Futurecast takes that heftier rain up to the north for the remaining of the afternoon. Still a few leftover scattered showers around this afternoon, so you might want to keep the umbrella handy, the timing and exact location of who's going to see rain this afternoon. A little in question, but those chances still there. Notice by 10 p.m. tonight, still some showers and thunderstorms around, and then a big line of showers and storms will be pressing into the metro, likely around the drive to work tomorrow morning, and some of those could be strong to severe. We'll be here watching it, but might need some extra time tomorrow morning. Notice by the drive home from work on Tuesday. That system, it's out of here. So 70 today in Bartlesville, 74 in Muskogee, 73 in Okmulgee. We'll keep the chance of scattered showers and a few thunderstorms in the forecast today. That chance, count on it overnight tonight. 62 degrees tomorrow morning and we'll see highs in the upper 60s still on Tuesday. So mild temperatures today and tomorrow despite the cloud cover and the rain chances. We clear out on Wednesday and we drop down to 38 8 in the morning up to 56 Wednesday afternoon. Looks like we could see a freeze Thursday morning. Temperatures climbing back to about 70 degrees by next Saturday. All right. Thank you, Julie.